What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I'm a modern guy, so let's check out a watch from Modern Made Man. All right, so I've got this watch here, and actually this is a loaner from Aaron Dunlop of the OFD channel. Check it out, a great channel where you can see a lot of watches, but this one's going back to him. And you can see it comes with this little card. This is the Belfort watch, and whenever I see that, I kind of think of Jordan Belfort from Wolf of Wall Street. Modern Made Man here, a logo on the top there. We have a little air release on the front of this plastic case. It kind of has this utilitarian Pelican case-like look. You know, pretty small little case, but here's the watch itself. And I think this is gonna be a pretty straightforward look. I think it's just um, a really nicely executed, certainly looks like it is, um, modern watch. And the really the nice thing about this sucker is that it is uh, pretty industrial looking. It's got a little bit of that Hublot type of look to it. As you can see here, we have, you know, a, oh, a, an octagonal case here, but nice beveled edges, kind of a rounded, smooth edge. We have these uh, screws. It certainly looks like screws there, or covers on the uh, lugs that hold the two pieces together. Beautiful, almost anodized black. You can see kind of the brushed top edge and then the kind of the polished um, polished side is sides right there and then we have this beautiful case here you know this looks a lot like stainless silver it's got a nice brushed uh, stainless like look to it but it's very silver kind of much more silver than gray which I normally associate with titanium you can see a polished uh, little edge right there so in a kind of a nice mix of finishes you've got a uh, six-sided crown right there so you should be able to get a nice purchase on it but it looks like kind of a, a nut which is kind of cool and you can see the modern made man logo emblazoned right there uh this comes out obviously on the, like a fabric nylon strap it's almost kind of like a nato look alike here you can see here uh I, I forget what it's what they actually call them when they're not really natos but they're like natos um i don't know this one might be a nato i think there's something else that they call them Someone could correct me on that, but I always end up calling them NATO and sometimes people correct me on it. We see we have two spring bars over there. And now this case diameter is only 42 millimeters, so it's a really nice size. You can see the domed sapphire crystal on there. Just kind of nice hardware all the way around. I should pull this out here so we can just take a look at the Miyota 9015 automatic movement. We can see if we can get a little shot of it there. You can see the rotor back there, auto movement. And it says Miyota Company right there. Super reliable Japanese movement. Um, this looks like this whole portion down here looks like stainless steel because it's marked stainless steel right there. And I think just a really nice size. This color combo really is nice. I actually like, so I guess this bottom portion is stainless steel. Um, I, I really like this black on silver look. It's really, it's really nice. And then you can see here, this 42 millimeter case, I think, is uh, the right size for moi. It's, Take a look at that. I didn't tuck this under here, but look at that, man. That is a nice looking watch. Uh, feels great on my wrist. I'm really starting to like these nylon straps. You know, generally I wouldn't, um, you know, wouldn't be my first choice of strap, but as you saw maybe a couple months ago on my Spinnaker review and things like that, I got it with the nylon strap. I'm really starting to like it. It adds a little bit of kind of like New England, East Coast, uh, recreational kind of casualness to it without kind of, you know, being overly dramatic or trying to kind of make it a little too stuffy. So I really like that. Uh, Anti-reflective coating up, apparently on there as well. Water resistant to 20 atmospheres. And, you know, the thing about this is that it just has, it's called Modern Man, but it has a modern look to it. It's kind of a modern take. You can see almost here, uh, little perforations on that inner chapter ring, applied markers, you know, these, these uh, silver markers at the hours. Got a big 12 and a six down here. Date window on this movement. You can see a big angled outer chapter ring with these little squares at the five minute marks, a pip at the top there. It's just a really nice. It, it, to me, it kind of has a little bit of like a speed uh, look to it, kind of a, you know, um, brake rotor look to it, like a ventilated brake rotor. See how nice that movement tracks. Black hands, I'm sure they're gonna be a little hard to see sometimes on this black dial here, but you have some nice, uh, bright loom streaks going down the hands right there and then in gray the the logo and whatnot i think a smart looking watch um at any level now these aren't inexpensive especially if you get like um you know it's different based on the different 
combos that you can get them. You know, they they will be they'll be under a thousand bucks, but you're going to be pressing a thousand bucks on some of these models. But I think this is really nice. It uh, it's here because of the stainless steel lower portion of the case here. It has a little weight, but I think it'd be an, a fine daily wear. Really nice looking. I um, have enjoyed taking a look at this bad boy, and I think it has a nice kind of slick modern style with some heritage elements to it that makes sense yeah i dig it hey i'll put a link to this uh, in the description below if you want to check out uh, some of these others from um, modern made man but the belford watch is pretty clever check it out peter brown panda out